Hello everyone, this is Maria and today I am going to be talking about how you can save up to 90% on your groceries and household items and then we're going to take it a step further and talk about how you can purchase items for a very low cost and resell them online for a profit. Now this video's target audience is going to be for people that live within the continental United States. However, this may also work in other countries. However, I have not confirmed that you have these particular stores, but you are more than welcome to take a look at the video and see if this may also apply there. In order for you to get started, finding these particular types of grocery stores that have these items at a major discount you're going to want to go to facebook and in the search bar you are going to input in discount grocery and once you input discount grocery it's going to pull up the relevant discount grocery stores that are in your local area now I already have a discount store that is local to my area and these are stores that are in the central Florida area and this particular store's name is Smart Shopper Discount Grocery. Now there are a couple of things I want you to keep in mind whenever you are searching and or shopping at these types of stores. They are regulated by the USDA but the way that these stores receive their inventory is usually by bulk purchasing items that are near their expiration date or they may be an overstock of items that are sold to these discount grocery stores and because they are oftentimes but not always very close to their expiration dates then they are offered at a severe discount to the purchasers. So again, my number one thing that I want you to remember is before you make a purchase, always be respective of when that particular item expires. And then number two, you may want to carry your smartphone in there when you make a purchase or prior to you making a purchase because you want to make sure that the item that you're purchasing was not on a recall list. Another advantage other than the great cost savings to shopping at these stores is that while the major box stores usually have limits, limits especially during this pandemic, many of these stores are trying to empty out their inventory again because of the sale dates or best buy expiration dates on the food so you're not going to be limited a lot of times in regards to how many items you can purchase and that's what makes this an even better opportunity if you see a great deal and you are able to purchase large quantities and then flip them and sell them online all right, so now that we have a basic understanding about how these stores work, let's take a look at what Smart Shopper has to offer. Okay, so here we can see just 23 hours ago, they posted Chips Ahoy Chunky White Fudge for only $1.50. Now let's do a quick comparison. and see how much these cost by doing a quick Google search. Now again, this is just for informational purposes to see whether or not the prices are significantly cheaper than what you would find at a commercial grocery store. Okay, so we can see here walmart.com has them for $2.32. So they are roughly maybe about 75 cents less. Now, a thing you want to remember if you would be interested in purchasing this is to double check when these particular items are going to expire. 
and we can look down here and see they also had some more Oreos, $1.59, so I don't need to do a search. It looks like they're roughly discounted a dollar. Here's another example of a Tyson beef roast kit. Tyson beef roast, okay, uh, roast beef kit with vegetables for only $5.99. So I know that a pound, this is roughly about a pound, I don't think they tell you, of a roast for one pound of a chuck roast such as this would run you at least maybe ten dollars and up and with beef prices being exponentially high these days due to the shorter supply and or interruption to the overall supply chain then this can offer you a significant discount now again with the meat based items um Number one, I'm going to check the date. And then number two, keep in mind that, you know, maybe something happened in the store and, you know, hopefully the power or something didn't go out. So anyway, I just keep all of that in mind. I generally speaking, don't buy the meat from these stores. I usually get boxed items, but there are caveats to that. And again, it's really just up to you whether or not you would purchase this. Now, I know for a fact that my mother did purchase this particular item, but uh, it wasn't for me. All right. So here you can see you can get a large corned beef brisket for $11.99. So if you have a large cookout or a family that you are trying to feed, $11.99 for this piece of corned beef is going to be a very, very good deal. All right, they have boneless bottom round steak. And a lot of times these particular items are the same items that you would get at Sam's Club uh, or even at your Walmart. Again, when they receive their new inventory in their stores or something has been on their shelves and it just hasn't moved for a long time, they have to clear out their warehouse. And so this is where these discount stores can come in and bulk purchase these items and then sell them at a significant discount. Here's another example, season, unseasoned, 56 count of American style Kobe beef patties. All right, continuing on, if we scroll up and then down a little bit here, we can see that we have some Kingsford Professional Charcoal Briquettes, and these are listed at $5 a bag. So let's do a quick Google search to see how much this would normally cost us. With my slow internet, please bear with me. Okay, so we see that the Kingsford Barbecue Masters Briquettes 12 pound bag would run us roughly about $8.97 at the local Walmart. So we see that we can save $4 by purchasing them here at the discount grocery store. All right, so this is just an example of one of the discount stores. Let's take a look at another grocery store, discount grocery store, and see what type of prices they have to offer. And since I close out these additional windows, and here is another store. Now, one thing I want to say, these stores are not necessarily in the high end areas. So just keep that in mind as you shop in those particular types of stores. However, they do have the best prices. So here is another store called Compassion Grocery Center. And we can see just two days ago, they were offering whole milk for 99 cents. And it goes a step further and says two gallons for the price of one while supplies last. Now, why are they giving you this great deal again it probably expires maybe within the week or maybe within a couple of days you have to either send them an instant message and ask if you don't live locally and you can't just stop by that store or you can simply call 
the store and ask them, hey, I'm interested in purchasing this milk. I just want to know when is the expiration date. Now, this particular store, I usually come in uh, or go to it, well, usually when they post something, unless I happen to be on that side of town. But I will stop in there and take a look at what they have. So, for example, give you a good example of something that I purchased from this store. Back here they have, I don't know, maybe 10, 5 to 10 pounds of their flour. And it's only 99 cents. So it's in abundance every time I go in there because I also like to stockpile my food so I don't have to run out to the store every week. Um, I purchase larger quantities because it is so cheap. And then because I have parents that are aging, I also do a lot of shopping for them. And because it's at such a deep discount, I'm able to purchase enough to basically feed my family as well as anybody else that may need some assistance. I have a lot to give. But they also have dog food, cat supplies, pet supplies. Now, I don't personally have any animals. But if you do, I'm pretty sure that purchasing dog and or cat food for, on a weekly basis or whenever you have to purchase it becomes quite costly. So you can also save up to 90% on these type of items. This store also will stock their juices. So for example, I went here and purchased the Cran Grape. It was still well within the date. And it was only $2.99 as opposed to going to maybe Walmart and paying $5 for that item. Now, again, they have meat. I'm not really interested. But these items do come from uh, stores like Publix. And, you know, Publix has very high prices. So if you are down and out or you just don't have a lot of money and you know you can take the risk with your stomach then you are more than welcome to buy items like this now things like bacon if you're into that you know they tend to last a little bit longer but the chicken generally speaking again with the meats i tend to go to the regular big box stores and purchase it there these particular stores sometimes all often do giveaways for the local community um, they have a food drive, so maybe once a month they will offer free water, food, and different items. Again, this is just an example. Sometimes they will give out free milk and water, so you can go to this store, and if you go at a certain time, they will provide you with these items. They also are in alliance with the join the alliance and crossroad alliance programs where they give out fresh food to the local community so here are just some more examples of some of the items that they have posted and or have for sale trying to get to uh, an example to show you the eggs when they had those on sale let's see but watermelon, I think, generally is $2. Actually, is going to be $3, 4 $5 in your big box stores. But it's going to be significantly cheaper at stores like this. So I probably should have pre-pulled that up. But this, this is actually what I wanted to show you. So, for example, they had this sale a couple of months ago at this time. However, they had their potato salad and this came from Publix it had a week before it actually expired and I purchased like two of these and they were four for 99 cents and then their eggs you could get two and a half dozen just for 99 cents so I was able to purchase four of these I didn't purchase more because I didn't have enough room in my refrigerator however I was able to purchase eggs for me and most of the people in my family for only 99 cents so that's all I have for you. I just wanted to introduce you to the discount grocery stores. Hopefully you have access to these in your local area. I will come back and talk a little bit more about how we can take these items and flip them online. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you all in the next video.